Coming up in episode 7 of the podcast, we've got more sequels than you can shake a stick at. We've got some exciting iPhone trailers for Hero of Sparta 2, Let's Golf 2, Ultimate Spider-Man Total Mayhem, and NFL 2011, as well as news on Dungeon Hunter 2. We also have a bunch of iPhone games that are coming to the iPad App Store. We'll find out which ones in just a moment right here on the Gameloft Video Podcast. Hey everyone, I'm Naomi. And I'm Josh, and you're watching the Gameloft Video Podcast, your online source for anything and everything related to Gameloft. As you mentioned earlier, it turns out we have a number of sequels coming out at the same time, which can only mean that these new games will be bigger, better, and more fun. Exactly. Gameloft unveiled a number of new games at E3 in mid-June, but rest assured we'll show you some coverage of that event later on in this podcast. But first, let's get the ball rolling with a look at the new iPhone games that are making the leap to the iPad this summer. The iPad version of Shrek Forever After features full iPad HD graphics through 11 visually stunning levels in the world of Shrek. Fight your way through a bizarre alternate version of Far Far Away to help Shrek save his world. In Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Conviction, you play as highly skilled Special Forces operative Sam Fisher. You'll feel like a spy holding the iPad into your hands as you maintain stealth and improvise with nearby objects to take out your enemies from a distance. In Zombie Infection HD, you must fight your way through hordes of ravenous zombies in 12 different levels, including a series of mine shafts, a dockyard, zoo, boat, and a secret lab. Zombies come in all shapes and sizes, including dogs, crocodiles, and even lions. Real Tennis is the first console-like tennis simulation made for the iPad. It features 10 players modeled entirely in detailed HD graphics. Go head-to-head -head with the best players in the world in courts ranging from Paris to New York to Stockholm. Prince of Persia Warrior Within on the iPad includes 12 chapters to play through. Make use of the environment, weapons, and enemies themselves on your iPad. Run, climb, jump, and more. The Settlers is a fan-favorite real-time strategy epic. Your objectives include occupying land, ensuring a steady supply of resources, and conquering your enemies. Keep an eye out for the Settlers HD in the App Store this summer. Gameloft tries hard to make all of its games available on as many different platforms as possible, and as such, we gain appreciation and followings from you guys, our fan base. Bearing that in mind, we try to reward our fans as much as we can, and one way of doing that is by releasing sequels to popular games that we know you guys want to see more of. E3 is easily the biggest video gaming conference in the world. It's often become a place for companies to unveil new games, technology, even consoles. Gameloft was on hand at this year's conference to unveil a number of games for the iPhone that are sure to get you guys really excited. Dungeon Hunter 2 was one of the games we unveiled at this year's conference. We showed the first level in a press preview. The original Dungeon Hunter set the benchmark for action-adventure RPGs on the App Store. Reactions were extremely positive from everyone who got to try the game. Online reviewer Slide to Play said that Dungeon Hunter 2 looks to be another super addictive dungeon looter. While TouchGen's reviewer, who was super excited to try the game, said that the graphics have been significantly improved compared to the original game, and that it looks good and there's no way anyone could say otherwise. Let this new chapter of Gothicus be written in fire. So then it seems that there are some rave reviews for Dungeon Hunter 2 then. Oh, definitely. I think Dungeon Hunter is definitely one of those games that resonates with a lot of people, mainly because of the style of gameplay. You know, I think a lot of people like those RPGs that envelop them in the whole dungeon crawling experience. Right, and I think people just enjoy playing the characters and getting lost in their world, even if it's just for a few hours at a time. But Dungeon Hunter 2 wasn't the only game we revealed at E3. We also unveiled Ultimate Spider-Man Total Mayhem, which is coming out to the App Store this summer. Reviewers in attendance couldn't wait to get their first peek at Spidey on the iPhone, and we know that you'll feel the same way when you check out this awesome new trailer. IGN said that Ultimate Spider-Man Total Mayhem looks really hot. Between the great-looking characters and the bright colors, Spider-Man looks like the comic emotion on your iPhone. Meanwhile, Slide to Play said, We're really excited to see Spider-Man treated so well on the iPhone. He looks great, controls great, and the action seems nicely varied. NFL 2010 was the first football game for the iPhone and iPod Touch. It was widely appreciated by football fans for bringing real NFL teams and player names to mobile devices across North America. NFL 2011 will receive a worldwide release to make sure that the football fans around the globe have an opportunity to play. And to make sure it doesn't fall short of the mark, we made sure to have someone on hand to help us make this official announcement all the more special. So here for you now is an exclusive interview with rising NFL star and master of the stiff arm, Beanie Wells. It's something that's going to be incredible, and I'm definitely looking forward to, you know, promoting it and, and, and actually playing it. So, I mean, I'm a gamer. When I just sit back and think about it, it's kind of like a surreal feeling being in a video game. 
just think about all your friends and everybody else that's playing a video game and they just want to play with the team just because you're on it and they know you. A lot of guys on the team, you know, compete on a video game. You know, you have to have some sense of getaway, some, some mentality to, to psych you out of. You know, you're up in there in camp and you have to have something to get you away from it. The best player on the football team, I have to say, is me. You know, I, I, I think I can, I can beat anybody coming through on the sticks. Next up is a game we teased you guys about not too long ago, but now we have a slick new trailer to show off. In 2008, Gameloft came out with what would become the most acclaimed iPhone action game of all time. It was the first game capable of competing with traditional handheld consoles like the Nintendo DS or Sony PSP. Now, Gameloft is releasing a sequel to this multi-award winning game, turning it into a full-fledged series. Action Adventure fans will rejoice this summer when they play Hero Sparta 2 on the iPhone, iPod Touch and the iPad. A new page of Argos' Odyssey is about to be written, and it will be more colossal than ever as our hero ventures through 12 chapters set in 8 brand new majestic 3D environments. He'll face stronger, titanic mythical foes that he must defeat as he battles the Nemia Lion, Sirens, the Hydra, and more. The graphics are even more impressive on the iPad's widescreen. Hero of Sparta 2 also comes with an improved control scheme for more intense action. The advanced action virtual pad lets you do more than just tap the screen. Now you can actually aim your attacks. A new jump control offers more freedom and an enhanced platforming experience. The game includes five unique weapon sets, each with its own magical power, which can be used by spending energy. Collect new items, powers, and weapons, since only the best gear will give you a chance to survive the challenges ahead. Well, it's that time again. I know some of you guys probably feel like you could watch Gameloft trailers all day, but we're sorry to say this is our last trailer for the month. And if you already find yourself missing the Game Loft Video Podcast, then you can just watch this one again and again and maybe recommend it to your friends. In fact, wouldn't it be fun to get the whole family around the computer to watch the podcast over and over again and hear about the latest news from Game Loft? I know that's something I'd like to do with the people I care about. But without further ado, here's a game we're sure you'll enjoy. Let's Golf received countless positive reviews at the time of its release on the App Store and is still one of the most popular golfing games on all three Apple devices. Let's Golf 2 is coming to the App Store this summer and promises to maintain the same concepts and style that made the original Let's Golf so much fun. We've added new content to make the sequel a brand new golfing experience that gamers will enjoy. The game includes twice as many characters with customizable outfits and equipment, six golf courses, and over 100 holes in outlandish locations designed to surprise our players. Each course has its own gameplay mechanics such as sliding on ice in Greenland, and bouncing against pyramids on the Aztec course. We also incorporated new challenges, multiplayer, and an online leaderboard. Players will get to watch their favorite characters gain experience with each game and unleash awesome special powers that are unique to each golfer. The eight different characters available each have their own skill set, superpowers, voices, outfits, and equipment. Let's Golf 2 offers complete multiplayer locally or online over Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connections. Connect to Gameloft Live and compare scores to other players from all over the world. So next up, we'll answer a few questions from you guys. Our first question this month comes from Brandon, who asks, Hey, will Gameloft be making some of their newer titles like Zombie Infection or Prince of Persia for the iPad? Well, the short answer is yes. Yes, they will. For more information on that, rewind this podcast to the beginning. <laughs> next up, we have Phil, who asks, How many people usually work on a Gameloft game? Most creative teams have around 20 people working in different levels of production. This includes game designers, sound designers, graphic artists, and programmers, not to mention the quality assurance teams and playtesters who help debug each game before they get sent on to Apple, as well as our marketing and PR specialists who help prepare each game for launches all over the world. All right, so that's all we have for you guys, but if you have questions for us, please leave them in the comments section of our blog, and we'll try to answer a few each month. In the meantime, you can get more information and videos from our blog, Facebook account, Twitter page, or YouTube channel. For Gameloft, I'm Naomi. And I'm Josh, and you've been watching the Gameloft Video Podcast. NFL 2010 was the first football game for the iPhone and iPod Touch. It was widely appreciated by football fans for being able to bring real... <laughs> It was widely appreciated by football fans for bringing real NFL theme. theme. <laughs> NFL 2011 will receive a worldwide. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's golf receive countless pounds <laughs> to reward our fans as much as we can by re releasing. <laughs>